happy Friday to you and welcome to the Friday Funnies where all topics are in the crosshairs. All I can say to begin this episode, my friends, is prepare for the end. Monday is Halloween, a scary day when people dress up like alien beasts and go door to door begging for candy. Eight days later, we will have Election Day, a scarier day where alien beasts dress up like people and beg for votes. And if they get enough, then they start begging for money. On top of that, we will soon have a new World Series champion, and whoever it is will break a very long dry spill. For the other, it will be back to self-loathing. The apocalypse is nigh. Now, I, however, prefer to uh, concentrate on more positive things. I'm getting ready for Thanksgiving. It's only 28 days away, and there's a lot to do. First, we'll have the neighborhood bonfire where we burn all of the campaign signs that have been littering the landscape. Then I have to organize the turkey shoot. Uh, we, don't, we don't really shoot at, at real turkeys. We aim at a big map of turkey. It's a weird game, but it's Putin approved. And then I have to start calling friends and relatives and neighbors to see if I can get invited to one of their Thanksgiving dinners. Of course, you are always invited to the Friday Funnies where we look at people who are real turkeys. <music> Stephanie Yeagers of Stockbridge, Georgia called her husband and told him that she was having abdominal pains and she was heading to the hospital. She thought it was a kidney stone problem. Imagine everybody's surprise when the doctors performed an ultrasound and discovered that she was pregnant and ready to give birth. Stephanie gave birth to a healthy baby boy and what I want to know is how can somebody go full term on a pregnancy and not know they were pregnant? I mean, I've never been pregnant myself, but I believe there are signs. I know, you know, bigger boobs is one of them. Anyhow, I wish Stephanie and her family all the best, but I really think they need to start paying a little more attention to what's going on. You know, there must not be much to do in Portland, Maine to prompt somebody to dress up a whole week before Halloween. Asher Woodworth, a 30-year-old man, costumed himself to look like a tree by tying branches all over himself, and then he stood out in traffic to see if anybody noticed. Several people crossing the street with their dogs noticed, and the dog thought he was a real tree. He was arrested by police after he refused to get out of the road, and he was charged with trunk and disorderly and treason. Asher said he wishes people would leave him alone. All puns fully intended. The law finally caught up to Christy Goss, a 43-year-old former employee at Garland County, Arkansas. She had the habit of using the county credit card to buy things for herself. These things included clothes, a diamond bracelet, razorback tickets, and a tuxedo for her dog. And I think that's the charge that might have done her in. The auditor probably looked at the charge for a canine tuxedo and figured, hey, this here's Garland County, Arkansas. Where the hell is a dog going to find a formal event to attend? There's something hinky going on here. Anyhow, Christy is charged with seven felonies, which could send her to jail for 140 years. The dog has not been charged and looks darn cute in that tuxedo. Well, that's all there is for another week, my friends. Have a great Halloween, and if you have any leftover candy, you're not doing your job. See you next Friday.